there are two types of breakups with narcissistic people, right? Either you leave them, <clears throat> excuse me, or they leave you. Now, if they leave you, this is the type of person you're going to deal with. They will not make the first move. They will not reach out to you at all. They won't. Because they left you, they have to make sure that you know it, you feel it, you understand it, and you are hurting. So when they leave you, they leave with confidence, they leave being arrogant, they leave being cocky, self-centered, and conceited. When they leave you, they feel like they got all the power in the world. They will not reach out. When they leave you, they're in the mode of being in control, having power. They are not going to reach out. They are waiting on you to reach out. A lot of y'all make the mistake of it's been 30 days and I'm fiending for him and I'm going through with these withdrawals and then you reach out. When you reach out, that resets how he feels about you. That resets the, the lack of respect he's going to have for you because he left you and now you're reaching out and you're chasing him. Don't ever make that mistake. One of the things I did was always, I was always when I left early <clears throat> from the relationship, I waited. I waited for her to reach out. And every time she reached out, she would always reach out right when I was having withdrawals about her, or right when I was about to reach out. And then she, I'm like, oh man, she got me. Then she, she'd reach out, boom. And that resets my mindset towards her. Um, remember, when they leave you, this is very important. <clears throat> when they leave you, it's because you built them up. You gave them that swagger. You gave them that confidence. You gave them that self-esteem. A lot of times, you know, women paid into me and they paid into me and made me feel stronger, made me feel taller, made me more proud. They did. So remember, you the one, you're the one that built that person to who they become and, and, and gave them the, the strength to actually walk away. And then when you reach out, you give them the strength to stay away. So be careful with that. They become very confident. Their, their, their self-esteem, they're, re, they're, they're reassured when you reach out after they have left you. So you're like, I, you know, Leon, I need you. Can you please come back? Some of you say that. Some of you beg. Some of you, some of you put your life on hold. And they know this, right? Um, when you built them up, you have to remember, you still have that power. Even though they, they're gone, they, le they walked away, they left you. Remember, you gave them that swag. You gave them that co the confidence. You gave them that arrogance. I'm not saying pull it back. But I'm saying you had the power. You, you just just so happened to give it to them. And now they started to grow. It's like watering a little flower. You watered it. You cultivated it. Put it in your garden. Had nice soil. And it built up. And then somebody picked it up and took it off and ran with it. Now, when you leave them, they will think about you often. They will cry. They will overtext. They will contact people that know you. Like I said before in my other video, they will try to get back with you. Right? Um... They don't want to hear how good you're doing. It eats them alive. They don't want to know that you're doing well. They don't want to know that you're dating somebody. They don't know that you have a, a new, they don't want to know that you have a new boy from new man that's taller, maybe looks better, has a better job, a better house, a better car, more athletic. They don't want to hear anything about that. When you leave them, it's a it's a blow to their ego. It's a blow to their spirit and it's a blow to their 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 soul. I felt this too. Um when they leave when you leave them, they are fearful of moving on. Narcissistic people, when they get left, they are fearful of liking somebody else. Somebody else. You know why? Because they, they have hopes and wishes and aspirations and dreams of you coming back. They wish. I did. I've been in this situation. I'm like, ah, oh, man, you know, she got away from me because it's not that she got away. I pushed her away. I didn't appreciate her and I didn't want to see her with anybody else. I become sick. They become sick. You notice if you well, see him at the club or the bar or restaurant and it's been three, four, five months and you're doing great, you're doing good, you see him, they don't look the same. Puffy eyes, red eyes, losing hair, not shaving, not well-groomed anymore because you left them in a place where they should not have been with you in a good in, in, in a good way. And so they were, you were trying to do your best to save the relationship, make them realize you, make them, make them see you for who you are and they couldn't do it. So now they got to suffer, right? Um, They'll be nervous about seeing you at the club. They'll be nervous about seeing you at the gym. They don't want to face you because you are now somebody that they once had and you are long gone, especially if they see you with somebody else. Um, there'll be a lot of, they'll be very desperate. There will be a lot of pleas to get you back. So there's the two ways, two situations that happen when either you leave them or they leave you and this is who you're going to be dealing with. So remember, if they got away from you, they left you. It's because you built them up enough to where they were strong enough to walk on their own two feet. And that was your creation. All right, y'all have a great day.